Hi, my name is Guy and in this channel I will share my journey into different crypto projects and other tech related topics. If you are interested in this type of content, you are welcome to join me. In this video, I want to share how I monitor my Chia farm. Let's start with why would you want to have some monitoring in place. First, I believe Chia is a long term project and as such, your farm will have to run for a long time and you want to make sure that everything works as it should. Second, I see many people asking a lot of questions about how can I see that everything is working, how do I know if I send proofs or partials to the pool, etc. I will show you how you can monitor your farm so you will have answers to all these questions. So let's get started. First, a quick note about the tools I'm using. First is InfluxDB and Telegraph. Telegraph is what you install on your tier machine. It collects all the data and send it to InfluxDB, which is the database where you store this data. Then we can use Grafana to query this data and create all these nice charts that you see in this dashboard. These tools can be installed on any Windows or Linux machine, and they are very lightweight and they don't consume a lot of resources for your system. However, if you have a dedicated machine for your Chia server, it is better to install it on a different machine. In my case, I already had Raspberry Pi with InfluxDB and Grafana, which is running my home assistant, which is my home automation server, but this is a topic for another video. Let's start with how monitoring your farm, and then we'll take a look also how to monitor plotting. In this video, I will focus on the dashboard itself and the data that you can have. If you want to know more about how to install, how to configure Telegraph, or how to build your own dashboards, let me know in the comments. So let's dive into the dashboard. On the top left, it's my Chia status. Unfortunately, I didn't earn any Chia on solo farming yet. Below that, you can see the payouts that I uh, got from the pool. I'm using Space Pool, and it's really a nice experience. So big shout out to them, especially to Sean and all the guys over there that are doing a great job. We also have some information about the Chia network. For example, what is the current net space? and some information about our farm. How many plots do we have overall? This is the overall number and this is the plots I uh, plotted so far uh, with the new pooling protocol. So I'm replacing those one by one and until all my plots will be uh, pooling plots. Also we have here the expected time to win uh, Chia on the solo farming with the plots that I still have plots which are passing the filter, which I will explain a little bit more, how many partials or proof do we send to, to the pool, and some information from the pool, how many points do I have, what's the current difficulty, and what's the estimation of the pool to how many plots do I have. We also have some information, general information about our machine. What's the CPU usage, IO weight, uh, temperatures, etc., as well as what's the IO status of our plotting drive. Now I want to explain a little bit about this chart because I think this is one of the most important uh, information that you can have for monitoring your Chia farm. So what you see here is the what is called eligible plots, which are the plots that are passing the filters. So the Chia network is sending challenges to your node all the time and checking the plots that you have on your computer. Now the general rate needs to be between six to seven plots that passing the filter every minute. And this is how you know that your farm is in a good, in a good shape. So you see here that every minute we send six or seven, uh, we have six or seven plots which are passing the filter. The second thing that you want to monitor is how much time it takes to respond to these challenges. And this is the yellow line that you see here. So you want to make sure that generally all the responses, the best case is below a second. But you should know that the limit is 30 seconds. If you cannot respond to a challenge in 30 seconds, even if you uh, had to earn some Chia, you will not earn it. And the last part, is the proofs that you send to the pool, which is also called partials, which is the green line. So you want to know 
that you always keep sending those partials to the pool and this is how you uh, uh, get your points and eventually your rewards. This depends on the pool itself and how they implement uh, the difficulty algorithm. So the number of how many partials do you send can vary. Usually this needs to be something in the area of between 5 to 10 partials an hour. You can also see here that we have the summary or like the average of how many partials we sent and this is also changes when your difficulty is changing. So my difficulty recently got increased from 15 or something like that to 21 and this is now I sent less partials but this will even out eventually. We also have some general information about how many plots do we produce every day and this is for the actual plots and how many time how much time it took for each plot uh, to be created. We have some general information about our CPU usage, our memory usage, and the IO weight. We also have some information about the uh, disk IO, and this is the, uh, the drives which I'm plotting on. So you want to make sure that those are utilized in a good way. And we have some information about the plot creation process and how much time each phase took. So you can see here that this is how much time phase 1 took and this is how much time phase 2, phase 3 and phase 4 which is usually the shortest one. This is uh, good information if you want to try to optimize uh, your plotting process or you want to compare, compare different setups and different configurations and you can see if it results a higher or lower uh, uh, plotting times. We also have monitoring of our uh, different uh, hard drives. As you can see, all my hard drives are already full and they are full with the uh, solo plots and I'm replacing those one by one with pool plots. I also monitor the temperature of the drives just to make sure that everything is fine. So overall, this is the general overview of the dashboard. I want to keep this video short, so I won't go into uh, more details uh, now, but probably I will make a part two to uh, add more details and maybe to dig into more about how you can configure some of the things and, uh, and install the, the tools that I'm uh, reviewing. I should also note that uh, I upload uh, this information to the repository on GitHub. I will put the link in the description below. So you have here the configuration which I'm using. This is for my Linux uh, server, uh, but other than the scripts, the Telegraph configuration, Grafana, etc. This should work the same on any uh, machine. I also included some links here to how to install for Windows and Linux. So feel free to dig into these documents. So I hope this information was useful and hopefully you can deploy these tools on your own machine and use it to monitor your own farm. Obviously there are different ways to monitor and this is uh, subject to personal preference and whatever you have already on your system. So I'm sure there are other ways but this is how I do it. If you find this helpful, if you use it, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get more of this con content or make sure that other people see it, please hit the like button, which will help the YouTube algorithm. So thank you for listening. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.